Hey YouTube, Will Knight 35 This is Rick, and I'm very excited because I've got a new plane. This is the Special Edition Husky, so this allows me to basically use anywhere between a 4S and a 6S. So I'm going to save you guys the grief of having to see an unboxing. Uh, there's been a ton of unboxings on this, but what I will do is I will show you the differences between the older version which is still out there, uh, versus this new version. So All right, before we get going, here are the stats. Check it out. Um, I think, and don't quote me on this, but I believe the biggest differences between the two different planes, the regular version and this special edition version, is the motor size, the ESC, and obviously the recommended battery. I believe that that's the only thing that's different. Um, but yeah. I know that you could actually use a 6L on this because Pilot Ryan used that, so I do have those types of batteries as opposed to the 5S, which I'm not sure who even has any of those. But uh, in any case, I will try to fly this thing first of all with a 4S and then after that with a 6S. Uh, and that'll be a different video, obviously, because it'll be too long if I tried to do it right after this one. So. Okay, so here it is. And uh, let's go look at that fuse and let's go look inside of it. All right, here it is. Look at that orange. I am a big fan of orange, like I had mentioned before, I think. And uh, so it's a nice big plane, so that's really cool. Um, obviously, here's a little bit of a, a difference between the original. This one says special edition on it. Um, so yeah, so let's look inside. Let's see what we got. Okay, so uh, we're not really going to be able to see the uh, the brand. I mean, not the brand, but the uh, any kind of detail on that ESC because it's it's hidden here. Um, but that is that bigger ESC, and the motor obviously is a little hidden. So uh, that's obviously another difference is that that motor is bigger, and this one you can see there is a gyro in here now that is uh, different obviously than the, the original um, and I like that I, I, I liked having that option so that's really cool um, and I think if you wanted to get this it's only like $19 or $20 to get it at uh, um, Hobby Shack or Hobby Zone and uh, and or um, Arrows RC so very cool it comes with that and other than that, really, that, that's pretty much it. Um. So here are the tires that I will be replacing the stock ones with. These come from Dubro, and hopefully you can see that it's a four and a half inch size tire. So they recommend do not put air in it, so I'm not doing that. But the one thing I do recommend is you do this. Take the nuts off and put some Loctite on it. One of the tires had the nuts so loose that it just came off and you don't want that happening so put some Loctite on it. It's a little bit of a pain in the butt but better safe than sorry. Okay so the big question is how do you take these tires off? And I, I'm going to tell you I did a lot of crazy things to try to take this thing off and I almost ruined it. Um, so I went ahead and called up Bob at, um, at Arrows RC and he was very helpful. He said that you should just get a um, needle nose plier and take the cap off. The problem with that is that I couldn't get any grip on it. So what I ended up doing was I ended up using a X-Acto knife and I just basically just tried to get it in between the rim and the cap. 
and at some point you'll get to it but it's kind of a it, it took me a little while to finally get to it but it will come off just like that and uh, and that's it that's how you take it off and there okay now that you have the cap off how do you take that e-clip off I know a lot of you guys know how to do it but for the people that don't I just use a screwdriver and I put it on the top part of that e-clip and it comes right off now be careful don't lose that damn e-clip that would be horrible okay so then what I've done because what happens is when you put that Dubro tire on and I can't put this on just yet um, it makes a lot of noise um, and it basically what it's doing is that the screw are hitting up, up against this uh, metal piece here so it makes a lot of noise so what I've done is I actually there's two actually there's three washers in here and what I've done is I put this little plastic washery thingy I put that on there and that's just from a, an RC truck or RC car then I put the tire on then I put the other washer on there and then the e-clip and then you don't have a noisy wheel and so just make, make sure that because you can't put that cap on that the e-clip is secure on there what I did was I just put some CA right on that e-clip where it meets uh, where it meets the shaft and also after that I put a little kicker on there or something to set the glue on there so that it doesn't come off uh, you'll be able to pop that off with no problem but I don't want it coming off if I don't want it to come off if you know what I mean you lose that e-clip you're you're gonna have a hard time try to find another one so just make sure after you do this that uh, use some CA okay and then you don't have to use this but I use this um, accelerator just so that it's uh, it's so I know for sure that that thing is on there and I'm not gonna worry about it so that's how the tire gets replaced on this beautiful 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 husky and listen to that smooth as silk my friends smooth oh